All right, hi guys. So I wanted to show you that I'm going to make ghee for the very first time like ever. I've been um, practicing Ayurveda for over five years now. This is the first time I venture into making my own ghee. So I wanna show you, I'm getting the recipe from here. And so the recipe calls for one pound of butter, which I have here. And it says to melt the butter in a medium saucepan over medium heat, which I am doing. And then it says bring to a boil, then reduce the heat to medium low. So as you can see, my butter is melting. You want to use a wooden spoon. Let me put this down. And I see like a piece of wood sticking out here. All right. So then it says the ghee will foam and gurgle as it releases steam. Once it goes quiet, reduce the heat to low with a wooden spoon being careful not to stir the butter, which I was just doing. Gently push the foam away from the top of the butter. If the butter is transparent to the bottom, the ghee is done. Otherwise, let it cook another minute or two. I don't know why this makes me so nervous, but it makes me really nervous. It's only because I've never done it before. Then line a fine mesh strainer with cheesecloth, which I have done, and pour ghee through the strainer into a clean glass jar. Discard the cheesecloth, allow the ghee to cool, and secure the jar with an airtight lid, which I have. So there we go. I'm gonna try this. And, okay, I can already start to see, like, it's separating, but we're still in the process of melting the ghee. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because modern science and even like in gyms, if you talk to personal trainers, they'll, they'll hype up ghee. Ghee is like one of the new superfoods. People put it in their coffee. Um, but what a lot of people don't know is that ghee is an Ayurvedic food. It comes from Ayurveda. It's over 5,000 years old. And Ayurvedics <laughs> or Ayurveda practitioners have been using ghee for its medicinal properties for thousands of years. So I'm just kind of venturing into learning how to make my ghee for the very first time. And, uh, and once I get comfortable making basic old ghee, then I'll start to infuse it with like minerals and plants and, you know, making it more medicinal. But yeah, so just wanted to share that with you guys. And, uh, and I'll let you know what the finished product turns out like. So, all right, I'll get back to you soon. <laughs> right. So the jar is really hot, but I wanted to show you there's still some foamy stuff left on it. So I'm going to try to scoop some of that out because I don't think that's supposed to be in there. There's Daisy <laughs> being nosy. Mom, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mom? That smells so good. Look at her. <laughs> You're so funny, Daisy. Okay, so yeah, I'm just trying to scoop some of this out. And there you go. So, I think 
my first batch of ghee is maybe not a full complete success because I can still see like some of the stuff there. But now I know that next time I'm going to, with the mesh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of double up on that so I can really filter out all that stuff. But for my first time, not bad, and it wasn't that hard. So I'm gonna let this cool off and dry, and then I'll let you know how it goes. All right, hi guys. So yesterday I made ghee for the very first time, and I went ahead and it took, it took the rest of the day and all night to let it sit and actually get hard. And so now I'm opening it for the first time. And there is my ghee. So I haven't, I haven't tried it. It smells really good. But I'm gonna go ahead and, let me see if I can shift this here, kind of show you my setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some oatmeal. Well, I made some oatmeal for breakfast. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try my ghee for the first time, but I have like all this stuff that I'm gonna put on my oatmeal, just, you know, cause I think oatmeal is very boring and bland. So I need, I need texture in it. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with like a spoonful of ghee. And I'll put that in my oatmeal. But I wanna taste it first. So I'm gonna grab like a little piece of a date. And I'm gonna just kind of taste it. It came out pretty good. Mm. So yeah. So just to kind of show you, you can see there it's like melting and I'm gonna stir it all in. But I'm gonna put like some pecans, some pumpkin seeds, and then here I have a couple of chopped dates and then I have a bunch of apples so I'm gonna put some apples on it too and there you go so I'm gonna stir that all up that's my breakfast for today but yeah guys so this was actually really cool and like I said earlier in the video I was really scared to make ghee I don't know why just because I had never made it before and honestly I think the next time I do it I'm gonna have to like add more of the um cheesecloth like fold it over and like strain it out more because i think some of the some of the stuff got in you can kind of see the discoloration a little bit but i mean my first time so anyways cool right so if you have any questions or if you're considering making ghee yourself um hit me up and let me know and i'll try to you know walk you through like what i did and uh and yeah so anyways have a good day guys bye